What's up, ladies and suckers? It's TBE365, and I'm back with another weekly pick -up. And I know I'm a little late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went to the movies, and it kind of threw everything off. I saw Double Seven. if anybody was wondering. It was an alright movie. It was a decent movie. But right now, the Bills... Oh, let's go see how I did last week. I know I did bad last week. I already know I did bad last week. I already know. I got one, two... Only guessed six games right last week. And I got one. Two. Seven games wrong. But the Eagles won it over time. And I got 50K in Madden for guessing the, the we're going to get pick six. So I'm all good. Like if I, I'm fine with how I did last week. And my overall record after that, not so good last week. I went six and seven. Not the best. Let's see our record. <laughs> My leaderboard, the leaderboard, our record is 85 and 51. Not too bad. I like that record. I would like to have that record in Madden. <laughs> I'm, not be, I'm, I'm not mad at that record. That's a good record. But the Bills and Jets, that game's already starting, so we can't even pick that one. But I'm not even going to pick it because now the score affects my picking of it. It's 9 to, it's 6 to 3 right now. So Ravens and Jaguars, I mean, Jaguars, I can't pick y'all. I can't pick the Jaggies. Gotta pick the Ravens. They're starting to pick up. Nice win over the Chargers last week. I did not expect that to happen. He, uh, Cody Parkley, or what's his name? No, that's the kicker for the Eagles. Huh? What's his name? Freaking the kicker for the Ravens. Mm, I don't know, but he hit that hot live link after he won that game. <laughs> so I picked the Ravens. Jaguars, huh? I mean, the Jaguars, I, don't, I gotta see him play a game. I need to see him play a game. Because all everything I see about them is bad. Bad this. They did this. Gave up this lead. We got blown out in this game. Like I know there's nothing good that ever comes out of Jacksonville, man. So right now I'm gonna pick the Ravens just to be safe. And once I see a Jacksonville Jaguar game, I'll be able to uh, uh, analyze the team better. But we're gonna pick the Ravens, Browns, and Steelers. Steelers got that clutch win on the Raiders. That was a very playoff, you know. Uh, like that's a future playoff. Like what is it called? I don't freaking know. That that game has some playoff implications. That's what I mean. That game was a lot to do with the playoffs. That That's a huge loss for the Raiders, but hopefully they can come back and start beasting. But there was a nice win by the Steelers, nice win by Antonio Brown. But the Browns, I don't, I don't see. They're not doing good at all either, man. They're going to start firing some people like they usually do. When really it's not the people, it's the players. You, they, it's everything. They need, to just, they need to do a lot of things. But they're probably going to fire the coach. That's what they usually do. So I'll pick the Steelers in that one. Rams and Bears. Bears got a nice win over the uh, the Chargers on Monday night. Chargers are not looking good at all right now. Dang, freaking Philip Rivers making that face. That, that explains the Chargers season. I mean, the Chargers season has been pretty bad. The Rams season's kind of been like, I don't know. I once again haven't seen any of the Rams games, so I don't really know how to describe their season. I mean, I need to watch a Ram game, but I like the Rams defense. I don't even know. I haven't heard Kevin White's name all year. I don't know. I think he's injured or something, but he's been non-existent, probably injured. But I'm going to go pick the Rams. Eagles and Dolphins. Eagles beat those Giants. Oh, I'm about the Giants. Beat the Cowboys up last week. Cowboys about to start firing some people. Um, and I mean, the, I never thought one player could win a game. Like, one player could win a team game. It clearly Tony Romo is that player for the Cowboys because they have not won a game except for when they beat the Eagles and that's Tony Romo did play some of that game so I don't know if you could technically count that as a win without Romo but they have not won a game with Romo being injured I mean Des Bryant you you see the person he should be playing paying now I mean I think he did get paid Tony Romo but Tony Romo is that team I've never seen this in the NFL a team loses much just because a starting quarterback is down. I mean, Tom Brady could probably be down and the Patriots would move, loop, uh, win more games than the freaking Cowboys have. They're throwing like a six-game win streak, but Dolphins, Eagles, I got to pick my Eagles. I don't watch the Dolphins that much. I, I have a, one of my good friends is a Dolphin fan, so he sometimes, you know, informs me how the Dolphins are doing, but I'm going to pick the Eagles because I'm an Eagle fan. Saints and Redskins, this will be a very weird game. This will be a weird one. I mean, Saints coming up a... Uh, Losing that game and that wasn't OT, but the defense is trash. The Saints defense probably have the worst defense in the league. 
I mean, goodness gracious, Brandon Browner. I, I wish he was playing better. I have Brandon Browner is like my second best corner in the, actually third next to Camardi. Which Camardi's not playing good either. I'm talking uh Antonio Camardi. He's not playing good at all, man. He is not playing good. But hopefully they pick it up. Um, but I gotta pick the Saints to win that one because I don't want the Redskins to win. They need to keep on losing, so it could just be the Eagles and the Giants for the division. Oh my gosh, the one and seven Lions versus the six and two Packers. Golly, oh, I want the Lions to win so bad. I want this to be my upset of the week, but <sighs> gotta pick the Packers. They're, they're at Lambeau too. Yeah, I gotta pick the Packers. It's pretty obvious why I picked them. Two and six Cowboys versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I can, I'm not gonna pick no dang Cowboys. First of all, they don't want a game. Since Tony Romo left, Buccaneers they didn't lose yet. They lost to the Giants, but I'm gonna I'm take the Buccaneers. I would say upset of the week, but the Cowboys suck this year, so can't say upset of the week. Buccaneers, Titans and Panthers. Golly, Mariota. Oh man, everybody pray. Everybody bow their head and pray for Mariota, please. Oh my goodness, that defense for the Panthers is strong, boy. They are freaking bounty strong. They are beasting in these streets. Oh, Mariola, I praise for your soul. Well, Mariola, you about to get beat by the Carolina Panthers, bro. Cam Newton playing decent. Almost threw away the game last week, but the defense came in clutch. I'm going to take the Panthers. Vikings and Raiders. Wow. Wow. The Vikings and Raiders. Wow. This is going to be a good one. Wow. I really don't know who to choose in this one. Raiders coming off a tough loss. Vikings is picking up W's. Like, just like, it's like the low-key W's. No one's talking about the Vikings. I mean, maybe the Viking fans and people around Minnesota, but Vikings are kind of that low, low, low-key team right now. They're just chilling, man. Just steady collecting these wins and just chilling with them. Six and two. Dang, Teddy Bridgewater got that freaking jacked up hit. I don't know if he's going to be out, but... The Raiders, I'm going to give the Raiders one more chance. Upset of the week! This has to be upset of the week. I mean, Raiders are 4-4. Four and four. This is 6-2. I'm going to pick the Raiders in this one because Teddy probably not going to be in there. I don't know. I my gut tells me the Raiders. This is the last week. If the Raiders lose this week, I'm going to go back to the how I used to pick the Raiders. If the, I, I, the, do I, I I believe in Derek Carr right now? <laughs> this is my last week of me picking the Raiders over superior superior teams, except for they should beat the Steelers. Now their, their defense did not help them at all. But Raiders, come on, help me out here. The Patriots versus Giants, man, it's obvious. I don't pick the freaking Patriots, boy. They don't whoop on them Giants. So hopefully they win the Eagles. Hopefully the Patriots are undefeated when they play the Eagles, because the Eagles are gonna get them, boy. Can't wait. That's gonna be a beastly game. Eagles, y'all better win for me, man. Y'all better hold it down for me, Eagles. But Patriots gonna win that one. Come on, let's go. Gronkowski, uh, Mr. Unstoppable, Mr. The Glitch himself, Gronkowski. Chiefs versus Broncos. <clears throat> Broncos, I don't know how the Broncos lost against the Colts. Makes no damn sense. What I don't know. I didn't watch the game. I watched highlights. That doesn't make no sense. Andrew Luck needs to chill with this. I'm gonna play bad all every single week. But the one week Peyton Manning comes to town, I'm gonna play good. Oh, sell boy, but yeah, out for a couple weeks. Hopefully he heals up because I always respect Andrew Luck's game. He's a good quarterback, just having a tough season. Um, but Chiefs, they had a bye week and it just did they just blow out a team? Yeah, yeah, they went to London, blew out a team. Now they have the Broncos. This game is if they want the if they want to make the playoffs, they gotta beat these Broncos. But no Jamal, which means they have to pass them all more. But no to leave because he wants to try to poke people in the eyes. Upset of the week. Oh, I, can't, I can't pick two upsets of the week. You know, we going to do another one. Upset of the week. Chiefs are going to come away with the W. Chiefs are going to come away with the W. Bro, oh. Yeah, we'll give it We'll give it to the Chiefs. I'll give it to the Chiefs. Why not? Broncos coming off a tough loss. They're, they're down in itself. Chiefs had a bye week to study the Broncos, study their game. To leave their defense is freaking odd. If to leave is suspended, I, I believe in the Chiefs. But if he's not, there's going to be a, t a good game still. But I'll pick the Chiefs in that one. 
Cardinals, the Seahawks, Sunday night football. I've been waiting all day for Sunday night. Uh, I will pick the ooh six and two Cardinals versus the four and four Seahawks. Who saw that before the season? Um, but I am going to pick the the Seattle Seahawks just because they're at home, and that's a um, they're a tough team to beat at home. So I'll pick the Seattle Seahawks. Um, and there's I think a bye week helped them out. They could they get more film on the team and they get to study the team. I think the Cardinals had a bye week too, so this will be a great game. This will be a nice Sunday night game. Uh, Texans and Bengals. Bengals undefeated. Texans they're trying to pick it up actually. The Texans low key can win that division. I mean the Colts did get that nice win against the Broncos, but the Texans are creeping, man. And with the Colts while well, Andrew Luck, I, I would not be surprised to see the Texans take that division. And at the beginning of the season, I was one of those people that was saying this season was lost for the Texans. But that division is so dooku, <laughs> anything can happen. Jaguars should probably ever come back. How bad that division is, like tell you the truth, man. But um, I'll pick the Bengals. They're eight and zero. They're feeling good. Andy Dalton playing good, playing to his uh his ginger potential. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's playing good, but I, I like it. I like it a lot, but. Um, that's, that's it for the picks, you guys. Um, any Cowboy fans out there, I'm sorry. I'm going to roast y'all, y'all. Y'all got beat by the Eagles, y'all. That was a great game, though. Overtime, we get away with the W. Sam Bradford to Jordan Matthews. We eating out on these streets. We eating out on these streets, boy. Don't come around in Philadelphia town, boy. Oh, wait, wait, no. We beat you at your house. That was on your turf. Boy, but I'm just kidding. I'm done with y'all Cowboy fans. You guys already heard it enough. You guys came to the NFL Network while hearing Cowboys t- season over. Jason Garrett fired. Greg Hardy this. Greg Hardy beat up that. Greg Hardy punching this, punching that, punching his freaking helmet because he can't win the game. You guys heard it all. So I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Got him. Whoa. Get down my freaking car! Get out of my freaking car! I'm gone, I'm leaving. I don't wanna play them again, forget that. Heck no. I'm in it though! This team's gonna come back and beat us, man. That was a great note to end it on. If we, I'm not playing against that team that dude. The guy I do this is broken, bro. Broken in all the bad, worst ways for me. Forget that, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. The pressure right there.